So you want an RX-7. They're really exciting cars and everybody loves them, but there are a few things that you should know before you pick one up. If you plan on modifying an RX-7 at all, the first thing you should do is upgrade the cooling system because these Doritos can get spicy. But with an upgraded intercooler and radiator, these cars love boost. If you port the engines, upgrade the fueling, and throw a bigger turbo on them, they can make a ton of power. Sensational. Unfortunately though, the 13B isn't exactly known for its reliability, but the engine does only have three moving parts, which you will get very, very familiar with. Most people with FDs run staggered setups with 9.5 wides in the front, and either 10 or 10.5 wides in the back, and while TEs do look good on everything, we love the way that Rega Masters look on these cars. Some parts for these cars can be very hard to find, but there is no short shortage of suspension options. If you're looking for more of a track setup, you can pick up a set of Olin's Road and Track or HKS Hypermax coilovers. Or if you're looking to build a show car, you can check out an airlift performance kit of Fitment Industries. At the end of the day though, it is an RX-7, so no matter how you build it, people will love it. Unless you LS 